Our two milking stalls are installed. Uh, they are complete. We finished the mechanical parts of it. The fabrication has been done. We are getting ready to prime and paint them now. Uh, everything's been wire wheeled, sanded, and coated with OSFO, which is a rust converter. And about three hours later, here we go. It's all primed up. The galvanized stuff will stay galvanized and then uh, everything else will be painted orange. Here we are back in the milking parlor. Started painting the orange. I like your highlights you got going on. Yeah. All right, here we are back in the milking parlor. I don't really know where we left off. So the stalls are done. So we got them installed and painted. We got fancy decals for the front made. And we got new grips on the handles. And we got cast iron mangers installed. Everything is mechanically uh, redone as well. We have vacuum lines in now. Uh, I'm waiting on a few more brackets so we can go ahead and secure the, the lower end of these pipes. And then the vacuum pump has been rewired for 240 and it's plugged into an outlet on the wall back there. And that is controlled by a switch in the milking or in the milk house. And the paint is currently drying on a new base for the vacuum pump. Uh, we got our milk scale in here. We've actually been using this milk scale for a little while. We love it. This scale is awesome. So the black needle here, that's the, uh, the weight of the bucket. So we have a 10 pound bucket. So that way we just use the black needle to measure how much milk we actually have. And then we crack it. And then we track our weights on this sheet here, which hangs here. And when the scale is not in use, we can pull it out of the way and just hook it against the wall there. Uh, the paint is drying on the rub rails that are going to go along the back wall. And we have hardware for our safety chains. Uh, we got a new hose for wash down. And some handrails for getting into the pit. So we are almost ready to go in the milking parlor. But we've done all this work in the milking parlor and there's one big piece yet to be installed. This is a piece we bought way back in I think 2008. Is like the first like brand new piece of dairy equipment we ever bought and we've been holding on to it since then and we're glad we bought it when we did because I don't think they make them anymore. It's the Bates gestation tabulator. Our gestation tabulator is all mounted. That's a little overkill for our dairy, but I'm glad we have it. Uh, I first saw it at one of the dairies of one of our mentors and I really liked it. Uh, basically, it's just a wheel and you adjust it. It's got a calendar all, all the way around the edge. And it just lets you track uh, breedings, pregnancies, when calves are due, stuff like that. So we're very excited to have this and uh, we made sure that there was enough room between the posts and the windows so this would fit. Here we are back in the parlor. Uh, we spent yesterday and this morning getting it ready. We got the rub rails up, we got the safety chains, 
Just been finishing off some details and got it cleaned up. And tonight we are gonna try using it for the first time. So uh, the cows, especially Buttercup, has shown a lot of interest in what's going on behind that door. So we'll see if she wants to come in and see how it goes. Got our bucket milker sanitized, ready to go. Uh, I think our vacuum hose is probably a little too long. I'm gonna wait till after we actually milk uh, before I make any changes, cut that shorter. Because uh, we've been using this outside, out the door, so that's why everything's super long. Uh, even though we have two stalls, we only are milking two cows right now, so we're probably just going to use one stall. And uh, eventually, someday, we'd like to add a pipeline. But uh, for now, with our small herd, pail milker works just fine. Okay, here we are in the dairy, ready to let the cows in for the first time. We're going to see how that goes. That's something like right now. first contestant. Let's see how she does with exiting the milk parlor. There you go. Good girl. Keep Come going. on. There you go. Go around. Buttercup is just the best cow. She is awesome. Let's see how Rose goes. Oh, there may not be footage of that. We made it through our first milking in the parlor. Buttercup is about like we thought she would be. She's pretty gentle. Um, Buttercup is a dream milker. Yeah. Super laid back. Rose, on the other hand, has her own mind. She was a little more antsy once we got her in, but uh, overall, neither one pooped in the parlor, so that right there is a success. And we did milk them successfully. Yep. With and, no injuries. And no injuries. And yeah, we have to try it all over again tomorrow morning. So looking ahead, we're still working on our licensing and the rest of our processing area. Thank you for joining us on the Tomarosa in the Milking Parlor. If you haven't, please do subscribe. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Today was a really good day. It was the first day that Rose just willingly walked into the Milking Parlor. I think we've been milking about four days and now she just goes in willingly.